everybody. Welcome back to Mrs. Rattle Can's house. I am James, and this is the week in review number 15. Another uh, fun-filled week with not a lot of items getting checked off the list because those items took a good amount of time to get completed. Uh, Jill has finished two more bedrooms worth of uh, baseboard heater fin cleaning. Once again, the gift that keeps on giving. I continued uh, installing the exhaust fan in the laundry room. Had to uh, do some adaptation on there because of um, where the hole, the existing hole in the ceiling was in relation to a joist up in the ceiling. Uh, but uh, we figured it out, uh, got a spacer, did some, did a little bit of wiring fun and now it's okay. So uh, this is a combination light and fan. Uh, it's not very loud at all. The uh, fan in the bathroom that I just installed moves the same amount of air, but it's a, uh, it's a noisier unit. I, uh, cut the pipe out of the sump pit, that existing galvanized pipe. We then re-plumbed uh, the sump pump with uh, inch and a half PVC, installed a new check valve. We're still getting some back pressure and I think that's just because as, as clogged up as that sewer pipe is, um, that comes down from the kitchen sink with the who knows how many years of uh, garbage disposal and greasy machinist hand washing. Um, the combination of that was just like the perfect storm. So uh, we are on track to um, we've temporarily uh, reconnected our sump pit pump up to that stack and the plan is that we're gonna we're gonna replace that whole sewer stack that whole sewer line on that side of the house and when we do that then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, properly um, discharge uh, that uh, sump pump uh, into the yard through a bubbler valve of some sort um, and then I started working on uh, installing the sink light uh, in the kitchen. I had to put a, I don't know what to call it. It's not a shim, but it's because there's this electrical box that sticks out about a quarter inch above the surface. And I just thought the easiest way to deal with it is to bring the surface to the level of that box. And I did that with just a, a piece of wood that I had. So that got glued up there. And then when we when we paint and when we're doing all this plaster repair um, before we do the, the final coat of paint on the house, then that'll get painted the same color as everything else is. And so the light went up, you know, with with no problem really. Um, I uh, we're having a lift party tomorrow. Um, we're going to have some people over if everything works out, and we're going to actually move all of that heavy steel case uh, office furniture pieces and work tables and filing cabinets we're going to move all of that stuff up into the workshop so we did some cleanup there because you don't want people thinking you live in a construction zone even though we're not living there um, so i also relocated all the wood from the knotty pine pub uh, into the workshop as well and then i put the Ditra flooring down and uh, with the plans that once Mrs. Rattlecan and I talk about tile placement and where we think we want everything to go then we will probably lay tile next week that's what's going on hey if you're affected by Hurricane Irma our thoughts and prayers are with you uh, I have I have relatives in Houston that were uh, affected by Harvey. I have relatives, including my mother, who are being evacuated uh, because of Irma. And we have friends all up and down Florida. So uh, you guys be safe. Um, don't be a hero. Um, get out of this thing alive because you know what? You can always rebuild a house. And So uh, you guys have a great weekend. Cheers. If you enjoyed watching this episode of Mrs. Rattlecan's House, consider checking out this video. 
Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and to get the latest updates on our progress, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Perhaps we should have some wine. <laughs>